Hey guys, all right, so we're at another weekend where we decided to take Toasted Marshmallow out for a little drive. This time, Dana's driving. Let's see how this goes. So far, she's doing really good. All we did was just pull it out of the uh, storage unit and hooked it up, driven about maybe half a mile down the road. <laughs> And uh, she's doing okay. So, so far, I mean, it feels fine. I'm not really having any issues, I don't think. I think it'll be different on the highway. Right now, I'm going about 36 miles an hour, so it's not that fast. Um, I guess I could feel a little bit of the pull that we were talking about, but it really isn't. It really isn't bad. No. So, I'm wondering if maybe we just didn't have that ball on right last time. I'm up to 44, the speed limit is 45. Okay. Just take your time. You don't have to talk to me if you're feeling uncomfortable. I'd like to try switching lanes. Mm. Oh, people are going around me. Oh, time. it's 55 now. There's our rear camera so you can see what's going on behind us. I'm going 50. Okay, so I want to practice getting over. So I'm checking my blind spots. Everything back. I see nothing over there. I'm moving over. Okay. Which lane? Oh, I feel the uh, coming up the slight incline. It does feel a little uh, beatier. <laughs> I don't know. That's not the right word. But you feel it pulling a little bit. Well, yeah, I can tell that it's uh, taking more effort for the truck to pull. Yep, yep. You're gonna feel that. But I mean, not you got You feel like you need to press on the gas a little more. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, little scoop. You're ready. my first time driving it and honestly it really really wasn't that bad um i didn't get on the highway though but just driving it in the city wasn't too bad i just have to get used to the clicking doesn't bother me so much i just accept that it's supposed to click but i guess i need to read up on that and see what the clicking supposed to sound like uh, but now Corey's driving it we just put i am so ashy we just put in the pro trailer backup assist and it is awesome here he comes So Corey is getting ready to try the Pro Backup Assist on his own. Just push the button, it'll tell you what to do. Nope. Okay, maybe you do. Why are you sitting there? Never mind. Corey said his goal is to get it within this little this line right here. You see that line? That's his that's where he wants to park it in this space. Doing good. You're doing good, honey. Come on, I'll tell you when to stop. Keep coming. Okay, stop. What you did? You did! So I see exactly what you're talking about now. It makes sense. It takes, it takes a minute for you to understand what I'm saying. What I was trying to do was get the truck to go the way that I wanted to go. And you need to make sure you get the trailer to go the way you wanted to go. So it's almost like you need to pretend as if you're not even in the truck at all. Because you're going to want to do what the truck is doing, not what the truck is doing. It doesn't seem right when it's happening. Right. 
but it's right. And, and I kept, I kept trying to get the <laughs> truck and the trailer straight. straight. So I was trying to do that thing you were saying, but it didn't really matter because the truck's going to do that. Very good. So and, do, and it's straight. Do you like it? I love it. I think it's great. Oh, I would not ever. I would. I would never back up. Not using that. You know what I mean? Well, people do it all the time because everybody doesn't have it. Yeah, but they, they've been doing this for all the time. I'm going to do this on our first try. Well, guess what? You can do it again because we got to go over back to the RV place and put it back. All right. We're going on our first trip. Woo! Yay! So exciting. And we got Pop-Tart with us. She's back there. What is she doing? Sleeping. Is she alive? Yeah. We're heading out to the RV park. What? what? Look at get ready to get on the highway for the first time. Dana's getting ready to get on the highway for the first time. Let's see. Toasted marshmallow still back there. Still got her in tow. She's going about 64 miles an hour, 63. Okay. Grip that steering wheel. That is how I always drive. Mm -hmm. Did you drive my finger? No, please don't do that. This is truly an unprecedented situation. Stay at home. Stay home, stay safe. All of South Carolina's state parks are now closed. 100 state parks have closed. State parks and natural areas are now closed. All right, guys. So we had planned to go ahead and start talking about all the amazing trips that we were going to take in our RV. But as you may know, that's not happening right now. Nope. All the state parks, federal parks, county parks, probably national ones too. They're all closed. So, toasted marshmallow. It's in storage. Uh, yeah, for the time being. Hopefully not too long. I hope not. But here's the thing. All of our stuff is getting canceled. <laughs> so we booked several uh, campsites to go out. Um, we went, managed to snag a, a one that's on the lake. And I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but they just like keep getting canceled. And I, so I don't even know when we're gonna actually be able to go out. Um, one thing we didn't know, and this is because we're new, so lesson learned, is that people really book these campsites really far out in advance. And so um, a lot of places we couldn't even get in the first place. And honestly, at this point, I'm thinking some places we only got in because we're in the middle of a pandemic and people knew it was yeah. going to be canceled or something. Um, but we found some places and may have had some really good sites but we'll never know because we can't go to them. <laughs> uh, not complaining, just kind of, I guess, disappointed. But, you know, health is most important. So, you know, I want my family to be healthy. We want your family to be healthy. So that's the main thing. You know, we can camp later. But we did want to have some stuff to show you. I will say, though, I have noticed some of our other favorite YouTubers who do travel videos, um, they're kind of running into the same stuff that we are. And so yeah. it just means you kind of have to skirt and change it up a little bit um, about the things that you talk about in the videos you put out, but yeah. we can do that. Um, for example, we're sitting in our backyard, so let's talk about Hardy Plank. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so this is gonna be a little bit rough for the next, you know, we don't know how long this Hopefully pandemic. Not long. And we do have some stuff planned. So we like, we have a cruise that's coming up in May. Yeah, not really sure if that's gonna happen, but we'll see. I hope I mean, that's a long time from now. I that was that. our thing, cruising. Yeah, so. so hopefully we'll have that, and we'll have some trips for the RV and stuff. Yeah, because one, we said we are going to go to Bucky's, and I know that we're supposed to build one yes. here in Atlanta. Yes. Not sure if it's supposed to be this year or next year. And we also talked about going to the one in Alabama and Texas, possibly. Uh, and just wanted to take the RV out to different campsites, different state parks and stuff. So we'll see. We're, we're going to try and get out there if we can. But for right now, we're just going to have our masks and our Lysol wipes 
and our hand sanitizer, and just make sure that we're staying Wait, clean. Don't forget the disinfectant spray from Up and Up by Target. We're not sponsored by Target, but maybe one day. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> right. Anywho, uh, so yeah, we're just going to try and make sure we stay at home and stay safe and uh, just wash our hands and make sure we're nice and clean. So hopefully you guys are doing the same. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time we post new videos. Hopefully soon we'll see what happens with this whole pandemic. And not from our backyard. <laughs> Even if it is from our backyard, we're going to make sure we give you guys great content. All right, so you guys take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Why am I smiling <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hey everybody, welcome to Our Last Travel. Today we have gone to our backyard. That's right. We're coming to you today from our lovely backyard where it's cool, breezy, 47 degrees, even though we look like it's warm and the sun is shining in my eye. <laughs> Tyra says stick it out, make it look like a giraffe. My smiles. I don't know, it's my neck look thin.